another lesson. Uh, in this lesson, we are going to begin uh, looking at uh, past exams uh, on topic that we covered recently, integration and differentiation. And uh, I'm going to look at some questions that have been tested by Kasineb on the same topic. And uh, we are going to begin with the exam that was tested uh, in the year December 2021. And uh, it was question number, this was question number 3B. The question itself uh, carried uh, 12 marks, as you can see. It has uh, three questions. There's th this question, five marks. There's a question of three marks. And there's a question of four marks. So we want to see what was expected to you as a student. Uh, by the examiner of this question. Now, uh, the question reads that uh, the marketing department of Jacuzzi Limited estimate the daily demand function of one of its product to be linear in nature. If the price uh, was fixed at shillings 570, the daily demand would be 400 units. If the price was increased to 820, the daily uh, sales would drop to 200. The production department has indicated that the marginal cost of production uh, of producing Q units of the product is given by the equation marginal cost is 2Q minus 570, where MC is the marginal cost and Q is the number of units produced. And the daily fixed cost is 1,100. Now, you are required to come up with a revenue function. Now, how do you, how do you find the revenue? Yeah. So the first thing you need to know, if you want to find a revenue, uh, uh, if you want to find a revenue, if I want to find a revenue, it is price times quantities or price times quantity. That's how we find revenue. Now, from the question, you are told that when the price is 570, and the price, of course, will be linear, yeah, because uh, the question tells you that there is, it is, the product is linear in nature. Therefore, our price will be uh, constant plus BQ. Now, uh, you are, from the question, you are told that if the price was 570, if the price is 570, the daily demand would be 400 units. That will be substitute Q to 400, A plus 400, B. If the price uh, was 820, if the price is 820, uh, the daily sales would be 200. That is A plus 200, B, where, B, where A, uh, a is constant and B is varying. Now we need to look at uh, the values of A and B here. So we can solve this question simultaneously. If I solve this equation simultaneously, I'm going to eliminate this. I have, uh, let me eliminate A. This will be 570 minus 820. This give me negative, negative 250 is equals to this is zero then plus 200 b it therefore means uh, from this working it therefore means negative 250 is equals to 200 b divide by 200 divide by 200 and it gives me b is equals to 200 divided by uh, 250 divided by 200. 250 divided by 200 gives me negative 1 point. This gives me negative 1.25. Now, once you, you get the value of B, I should proceed and get the value of A. To get A, I can substitute in any equation. Uh, let me substitute in the first equation. We have 570 is equals to A plus 400, I substitute B, which is uh, 1.25. In this case, B is the gradient uh, of a linear equation. So, this will give me 570 is equals to A 
let me come to 400 400 times uh, this is negative 1.25 that is 1.25 gives me this will be a minus 500 so how do i get a i get a by adding 500 both side i want to remove 500 on this side so i add 500 on both side i add this side 500 i also add on this side 500 so that my a becomes 500 plus 570 this gives me 1070 now with this uh, you realize we have obtained the values of a and b it should be able now to give us the equation the equation for the price will now be i substitute a this is 10 1070 minus 1 1.25 x uh, let me this will be q because the equation for the price was uh, a plus bq finally for me to get the revenue it should be price times q already I have the equation for the price 100 uh, 1070 minus uh, this is uh, 1.25 q i multiply this one by q so this will be so the revenue function so total revenue will be 1070 q minus 1.25 q squared that is what the examiner wanted you to do so that you are able to get the format uh, you needed to know that for you to get the revenue it is price times quantity so come up with the equation for the price you might put by the quantity so that you are able to find the revenue function now let me move to the next question you are asked on this question uh, on this question the examiner wanted you to come up with the cost function the cost function you have been given the marginal cost. Uh, from the equation above, you have the marginal cost as the marginal cost as 2Q minus 570. The marginal cost, you have been given the marginal cost as uh, marginal cost. The marginal cost is 2Q minus 570. For you to get the total cost, you need to integrate marginal cost. Integrate the marginal cost, which from the question I've been given here, you are told that the marginal cost is 2Q minus 570. We integrate this one so that we're able to find the total cost. I come here and I integrate uh, 2Q minus 570. So we see from the rules, you add, this means, it is 2q i add 1 divide by 2 minus 570 q then plus c it therefore means uh, my total cost function will be uh, by 2 and 2 will cancel this will be q squared minus 570 q plus c but what is this c this c is the cost when you are not selling any quantity that means it is the fixed cost when q is zero the total cost becomes c you sub if you substitute zero here it means total cost is c it therefore implies that c is the fixed cost therefore the total cost function will be q squared minus 570 q you had been given the fixed cost from the question above. Here you are told that the daily fixed cost is 1,100. You come here and substitute your C to be plus 1,100. So that gives you the total cost function. Once you do that, you are able to score your three marks. That gives you the total cost function. Now, Part 3, which has 5 marks, you are told, uh, find the maximum profit that 
Yakuzi Limited could make. Here, you are required to know that for you to get the profit, uh, in this course, profit we denote it as pi. For you to get profit, it should be total revenue minus total costs. Total revenue function was obtained in question number one. Total revenue function here, 1070Q minus 1.25Q squared. This was total revenue function. 1070Q minus 1.25Q squared. That is the total revenue function which you obtain in question number one. 1070Q minus 1.25Q squared. Now, we, I subtract the total cost. This is total revenue. I subtract the total cost which have obtained in question number 2. I subtract, this is Q squared minus 570Q plus 1100. If I open the brackets here, I will find this is uh, 1070Q minus 1.25Q squared minus Q squared uh, sub minus multiplied by minus gives you plus. Plus 570Q minus 1100. Add the like terms. Uh, 570 plus 1070. 1070 plus 570. This will give me 1000. This is 1640 Q. Subtract. Add these two. They should give me 2.25 Q squared. Then minus 1100. Now at maximum profit, at maximum profit, the derivative of profit d pi dq should give me zero. So I need to differentiate this. So zero is equals to find the derivative of 1640. You get 1640 minus the derivative of this one. It is at this point you know how to find to differentiate having covered this one in the previous videos. So this is 2.25 times 2. This will give me 4.4.5 Q squared. So, uh, rearranging this equation, you find 4.5 Q squared is equal to 1640. Divide by 4.5, divide by 4.5. Uh, once you differentiate, uh, sorry for this. Once you differentiate, the power reduces by 1. Here, this is 2.25. Q. Uh, you multiply this one by 2. So this gives me 4.5. Then the power reduces by 1. So this will be 4.5Q. So I divide by 4.5 on both sides, which will give me my Q. Uh, my Q should be 1640 divided by 4.5. That is uh, 360, 364.4. That is 1640 divided by 4.5, giving 364.4. And you can say Q is approximately 365 units. Do I, do I say this? I say this because uh, it's not possible for you to produce a, a quarter unit. When you're producing, either you get a whole unit or there is no unit. Eh? But uh, the answer, if you have written 364.4, that one is still okay. So this is what you are supposed to do because you are told the maximum profit that Jacuzzi could make. Now, uh, sorry, I'm not finished. Here we have found the Q. Therefore, I need to substitute this Q to the profit function so that I'm able to get the maximum profit. Because the question here needed you to get the maximum profit. So once you get the Q that uh, will give you the maximum profit, then I need, for me to get the profit, I need to come and substitute Q. So this will be 1640, substitute Q, which is 364.4 minus 2.25. 
2.25 this is 364.4 squared then minus 1100 this is 1100 let me use my calculator here 1640 times 364 uh, this is 364.4 it is giving me uh, 597 616 minus 364.4 squared times 2.25 this is 298.771.56 minus 1,100. So, what will be your profit? The profit now becomes uh, 597.616 minus uh, 298.771 minus 1100 1100 and my profit as i can see from my working here it is 297 744.4 this will be the profit realized now let me emphasize on this. When you want to find the maximum profit, the first thing you need to do is to determine the quantities that will make you get the maximum profit. Once you find this quantity, you come back and substitute in the equation or the profit function. This is the profit function. Once you substitute, and the profit function was obtained from the total revenue minus the total cost functions. So that we got the profit function. Once you get the profit function, you get the quantity it will help you to find the profit itself otherwise this is what you're supposed to do for you to score the 12 marks and uh, in this uh, particular year uh, we meet in the next video we shall continue doing uh, solving more questions thank you